I'm Clyde Butcher. Welcome to the Big Cypress Swamp. South Florida contains some of the most famous wetlands on Earth. Most folks know about the Eastern Everglades, a national park which encompasses a sea of sawgrass stretching as far as the eye can see. Less well known and perhaps even more mysterious and varied is its neighbor to the west, the Big Cypress Swamp. We call this place over here now the Western Everglades. To this old timers, it's the Big Cypress Swamp. During the summer storms, Lake Okeechobee would spill over its lower bank. This was the beginning of what author Marjorie Stoneman Douglas called the River of Grass. From there, the water would evaporate and form clouds. The winds would blow the clouds west, and the water would return as rain. We're primarily a rain-driven system, so hydrologically, we're fairly pristine, and we're also important because of the water flowing off the land here and out into the 10,000 islands and neighboring Everglades National Park, the very purpose why Big Cypress National Preserve was created. The drinking water upon which South Florida depends is located in the aquifers under these swamps. For a century, water was seen as the enemy of the people of, of Florida. We were all about getting rid of it. How can we drain it? How can we dike it? How can we squirt it this way when we don't want it? How can we capture it? How can we suck it out of the Everglades and out of the aquifers so that we can grow our civilization? The Picky and Strand Project is critical to the area. It forms the center of our protected lands in Collier County. We have Bell Mead to the west, we have the Panther Refuge to the north, we have Rookery Bay, the 10,000 Islands to the south, and we have Thakahatchee and Big Cypress National Preserve to the east. There's the sense that the east coast has gone through a tremendous effort to restore lost conditions, whereas the west coast, here, we have the opportunity to preserve. And I can tell you, I've been at this for 30 years. Preservation is a lot cheaper. It definitely is the way to go. One of our most famous residents is also our most threatened, the Florida panther. The panther is not the only charismatic inhabitant of Big Cypress. The Fakahatchee Strand is home to 44 kinds of orchids. Most mysterious of all is the ghost orchid. When you look at this beautiful white flower dangling from a flower spike coming out of these roots, I was just in awe of it, and I fell in love. The Vakahatchee is the largest strand swamp within the Big Cypress Swamp System. Basically, strand swamps are elongated channels or shallow valleys in the limestone that have been eroded over the past 5,000 years. Leroy Henaheho Osceola, a descendant of the famous chief and his wife Cassandra, are raising their family in Big Cypress. We're trying to keep our identity strong so outside people don't tell us and come to us and tell us who we are. Osceola is also a traditional craftsman. In his gallery on the Tamiami Trail, he creates silver jewelry and wooden sculptures. When I'm creating a photograph, I think it's important to create a space so a person can feel like they're there. And that's what I'm trying to do is connect people with the Everglades, Big Cypress, Fakahatchee, Corkscrew, all these different places. If they can't feel the connection, how are they gonna feel it's important? The whole thing, you know, was like 
visiting the Garden of Eden for a 15-year-old boy. Clouds of birds, alligators lying in every ditch, and snakes tarpon rolling in the canals adjacent to Tamiami Trail. I mean, how much better does it get? We just couldn't live without going to the glades, going to the Big Cypress, going to the bay. It made your heart sing. It enriched us. It made us more than we were. It was great. There's no place else in the world like the Big Cypress Swamp. It's, it's really fantastic. The biological diversity here is incredible. Whether the incentive to take care of the Big Cypress Swamp and the Everglades is scientific, recreational, spiritual, or economic. And I went to Big Cypress to kind of restore my soul. There is profound concern over the future of this priceless ecosystem. The spirit of cooperation has saved Big Cypress Swamp in the past. Its future may depend upon new coalitions between environmentalists and the traditional community, between positive local action and promises kept by the federal and state governments. The answer is in me and you.